Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Now there are three schools of thought as to what the signature cuisine of the Lone Star State really is. On one side of the argument, you've got your chili crowd. On the other hand, you've got your Tex-Mex fans. But last but not least, you've got your barbecue fanatics. Now in the end, you can't go wrong with any of them. But for our next destination, we chose to head to the unofficial barbecue capital of Texas to try out what some call the best barbecue in the entire world. So let's hit the road because we're on our way to Lockhart, y'all. Good morning from Lockhart, Texas, where they get started a little bit earlier than what we're used to at 6 a.m. here at Kreitz Barbecue, and they're firing up the grill already, so why don't you say we go ahead and check it out. Okay, I'm here with Roy, the general manager and pit master here at Kreitz Barbecue. Uh, I do have to ask, I saw a lot of uh, history on these walls, a lot of great pictures. So how long have y'all been around? Kreitz Market has been around for over 100 years, since 1900. Here we moved in 1999. There's a bunch of little barbecue joints around here. So what makes y'all so unique? Is there like a secret ingredient that y'all have? No, it's, it's like I said, we don't have barbecue sauce. It just makes us different. Uh, well, not only that, but if you do something right and put your heart into it, any piece of meat will, will taste good. After talking with some Kreitz visitors, it turns out eating with your hands is commonplace around these parts. Finger looking good. <laughs> you don't need any sauce. Like, it's perfect. You know, that, and, you know, you eat it with your hands. You know, it's like your parents are here and they don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it has so much good seasoning and flavor, you don't need that yes, barbecue sauce. How do you know when it's ready? Just by feel. You know, we use these rods that we poke with it, and uh, if it goes through, you don't want to get it like butter, because then you won't be able to pick it up and put it on the block to slice. But it's all by, by sight and feel. Man, that's when you know it's good, when there's no measurements, no checklists, it's just... No gauges, no anything else. It's all by sight and feel. Do you think I could maybe, you know, chop up some meat oh, yes. over here? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm excited then. Yeah, we, we don't trim it. We just get it out of the package, season it, throw it on the pit, and we do our trimming after while you're cooking it. Okay. See, it helps the, the, the cooking process. Okay, my turn. Look at this, y'all. I'm cutting some meat. Is that a big piece I'm cutting? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Someone's going to be real hungry. <laughs> Look at that right there. Lines can get pretty long around lunchtime, so if you can, get here early and dig in. This looks like something I may have sliced up earlier. We got some brisket and some sausage ready to dig in. Here we go. I don't even know why I'm using this. No utensils, right? Christ, right here. Let's taste it. Mmm, that's good stuff. That was a sausage. Here's the good stuff. Ready to try it. Brisket. Barbecue may not be the official dish of the Lone Star State, but Kreitz Market makes a pretty strong argument. Come try this delicious food. Mm. Mmm. Want a bite? <laughs> Got a hankering for a little barbecue? Visit kreitzmarket.com for locations, menus, and more.